extended edition of The Next Big Thing. I'm Tara Lynch, joined by ABC News anchor and correspondent Whit Johnson. Whit, thanks for sticking around. Happy to be here. So we'll, we'll start with something that we've been talking about offline, quarantine. So what has quarantine been like for you? In terms of your job, you've still been out in the field, but as a parent, as an employee of a major network, there's a lot of change happening. There's a lot of change happening. It's definitely been different for me personally because I have been continuing, we're technically essential workers. And so in the beginning of the pandemic, um, I was going out in the field for the reporting, but we were not going into studios. So I was actually anchoring from home with my iPhone uh, and, we were, and we were rotating through the studio. So that was a challenge. Um, but what's been hard for me is my family, it was in lockdown like everybody else, but I'm going out places. So I had to be mindful of making sure that I stay healthy and I don't bring home virus, you know, to, to my wife and kids. So I've had to get tested on a semi-regular basis. I'm extremely careful. Uh, when we're out in the field, it's fine. When we're outside, we social distance, we wear masks. In the studio, it's been reduced now to a, a very limited staff. They started testing people uh, on a weekly basis who are rotating through. And we still social distance in there. It's a big open space. We wear our mask every time we're moving throughout the building and we take it off when we sit at our desk in the studio and we're all spaced out so we're social distance. So it's been strange for me, um, but I think a different experience than others have had who literally haven't left their homes in, in months. Using your iPhone to anchor a show on ABC News. That is mind boggling to me, but that is where we're going. That's what we're doing right now. So it definitely makes sense with the times. So when you look at your career, what has been your favorite story that you've covered? Ooh, favorite story, favorite story. You know, um, I've covered a, a variety of many different stories, uplifting and tragic. I would say the biggest story I've ever covered has definitely been the pandemic because this story impacts every single human being on the face of the earth. And everybody wants to know and needs to know what they have to do and what's going to happen next and what's going on. So I've never covered another story that has a more pro that's had a more profound impact on every single individual who's watching um, than the pandemic. But in terms of the most enjoyable or memorable stories, I, I wouldn't say it's one specific story, but an experience. Um, I used to cover the Olympics when I worked for NBC and uh, had the opportunity to cover two Olympics, the summer games in Rio and the winter games in Sochi, Russia. And the great thing about the Olympics is it's, you're, you're taken away from the news cycle for a moment. And all of the stories that you're telling for the most part are incredibly uplifting and emotional. And it's about people who've dedicated their entire lives to doing something. And I'm not talking about like major star athletes who are making millions of dollars, but people who are like average Joes who worked regular jobs, but then put in all the hard work behind the scenes, sleeping on friends' couches to be able to accomplish this Olympic dream. And so I, I found that to be incredibly fun, uh, uplifting, and it just, you know, it's easy in this business to start thinking for a while, man, there are so many awful things going on in the world. It's nice to be able to suddenly become immersed in a place where you see the real human spirit, real perseverance shining through. And I always felt like the Olympics was a great place to, to see all of that and to share those stories. Definitely. I'm a huge sports fan, so I'm looking forward to the Olympic Games, uh, hopefully next summer. So we will stay yeah, tuned for close. more. Yeah. Exactly. More of those stories. So what has been the maybe most fun or easiest part of your job? What is the most challenging part of your job? You know, I, I can tell people that there are certainly no easy parts. Um, this is one of this is a very excruciating, difficult job that um, it tests your self-esteem, your resolve. Um, it challenges you in ways you would never imagine. 
Um, you'll ha- I've had moments throughout my career where I questioned myself and thought, am I ever really, am I going to be anything? Am I going to be able to do this? Um, I'm not any good. Um, so it's a very difficult job in that sense. I've had to leave my family and move all over the place. And then when I created my own family, I had to drag that family all over the place, all over the country and live in new places. So that part of it is, is really hard. So I wouldn't say that there's an easy part. In terms of what I enjoy, um, there are a lot of different aspects. Um, one of them being, you get to witness history as a, as a front row spectator. You watch all of these things unfold, and you know, my career is still relatively new. I mean, I've, I've been in the business for 15 years, but during that time, you know, I've been to the White House. I've been in front of a president. I've been on Air Force One. I've traveled to Afghanistan, Pakistan, Libya, you know, Russia, Rio. I, I've been all over the world and witnessed uh, incredible moments in history. And some of it is, uh, you know, painful history, but some of it is also uplifting. And I think to be able to, to see all of that and uh, experience it in a way that um, the average person doesn't, I mean, that, that's, that's a major benefit of the job. It's a major benefit of the job, but it's also, it comes with tremendous responsibility to make sure that we present these things accurately and appropriately for the public to consume. That is very true. Witnessing history firsthand and being one of the first to be able to report it, truly a privilege of this industry and this job. I want to end with kind of a, a rapid fire game. So I'm going to give you a word or a phrase and I want you to give me the first word or phrase that comes to your mind. All right, ready? Okay. Good morning, America. Fun. World news. Important. ABC News. Mm, mm. Tough one. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm trying to, um, forgive me because there are so many different aspects of ABC news. Um, the best. There you go. Election 2020. Tough. COVID-19. Heartbreaking. Journalism. Necessary. And last but not least, 2020. The worst. <laughs> I, I think everyone can agree on that last one. Yep, yep. I mean, what a, what a year it's been. What, it's, what a year. And it's, hey, it's only uh, September. Exactly. Well, we're almost through it at least. We have to just keep pushing through like that double duty between GMA and World News tonight. Wit, thank you so much for coming on to this extended edition of The Next Big Thing. We really appreciate your time. Absolutely. It was great talking to you.